Hub Labels was founded in 1978 by my mom and dad. My dad was a converter in uh, Central America, came back to the States and uh, he was bored. So he started Hub Labels uh, with one machine in a small storefront and has grown to the company we are today. Hub Labels has a tradition of innovation. My dad was an engineer, so doing more of the same wasn't something that he wanted to do. So with a tradition of innovation leads us to where we are today taking risks, looking at uh, what uh, the label market has to offer in order to stay at the forefront. So what drove us to buy the label fire was uh, in 2003 we made the first digital press investment. Uh, we had it for about 10 years and some of the problems that we encountered with that press weren't solved when uh, we needed to buy a new press. So we sat without a digital press for a couple of years and there were certain things we were looking for. I wanted a machine that I could put a substrate on, print it, die cut it, embellish it, and if I needed to send it over to finishing. Um, so I told myself, I'm not gonna buy another machine until that problem has been solved. So I was invited to Gallus Innovation Days 2016, and Gallus had introduced the new label fire, uh, hybrid press, got my attention. So I went over to visit it, and I saw that they had solved the problem. But there's another thing that uh, I witnessed when I was visiting the machine was that they looked at the entire ecosystem of the digital printing. Something that I always knew was a problem, they addressed. Things like controlling the inks, uh, controlling colors within the press. And the one thing that not many people know about is uh, Gallus owns Printact through Heidelberg. To me, that was a huge competitive advantage for me because in the past, when I had to have a third party um, digital front end in order to drive it, I've seen the benefit to that. Some of the screening that they've introduced to specifically improve the print quality, uh, I feel could only be done by controlling that front end. The inks, the ability to supply the inks made to their specifications. So when I say the lessons that I learned by my first digital press was I bought a digital press. The second digital press that I bought, I'm buying into an ecosystem of, of software, of hardware, of consumables that works really well together. So when I bought the Label Fire, one of the things that we needed to address was improve our production efficiencies. Because as the analog model changed and customers required shorter and shorter runs with less and less lead times, they didn't also want to make investments into plates, the label fire was able to meet that need. I mean, I think that's why we all buy digital presses is because you've got customers who want to order many SKUs, quick to market, the label fire was able to do that. So how has digital impacted my business? It certainly gives us a, uh, a tremendous capabilities to address uh, the short run. But the unintended discovery that I've had with the digital press is the ability to match uh, our customers' demands for quality and color. The other thing is the ability to upstream throw down white. Uh, the UV ink is expensive, and with some of the clear materials that our customers are asking us to print on, it's very expensive to throw down a heavy coat weight of white digitally. So what the analog digital hybrid model allows us to do is use a less expensive UV flexo white and then hit it with the digital in order to change the embellishment. So Gallus has been a partner of ours for many years. I recognized the difference that Gallus and Heidelberg had versus the other digital press platforms was that they had a platform, not just a press. And to me, that was important. I realized that everything needs to work together in order to be successful. What I recognized with Gallus and Heidelberg and the Prenect front end, uh, that they've got the solution that will help me succeed.